Hey guys, Matt, Iron Trap Garage, and we're gonna do another adventure, or we already did another adventure. So, uh, we recently went to Flemington, New Jersey to go digging for some old Ford, and uh, old Ford stuff, and, uh, and also a Lincoln, pulled some cars out. Um, but unfortunately, we had just gotten a camera back from being repaired, and uh, we got no sound, and we didn't realize that till we got back. So, luckily we got a little bit of sound with the GoPro, um, and some phone shots that we were doing throughout the day, but Mike will be doing some voiceovers in the video. But let me preface it by giving you, kind of setting the scene up. Uh, this property is really, really crazy. This gentleman was basically living in his garage since the 1980s, um, and he was gathering and, and definitely um, living like he was in the depression, essentially. So he did not throw anything out. He worked with what he had, and he was a little bit of an electrical savant, even though there's some craziness going on with the wiring there. You look at how he wired everything. It was kind of crazy because it all did work. It didn't burn down. The building, the cars, everything else, um, and there is just little pathways throughout the whole entire building. It's really, really crazy, and uh, we had a ton of fun and we figured it was definitely worth still putting the video out, just giving you that warning ahead of time in the intro. So let's go to Flemington, New Jersey and see what we find. Here's today's adventure. We're digging a uh, Lincoln Continental. I think it's 41 out of uh, a building here in Jersey. There's a old MG. I think it's a 50s MG that's here. And this property has all kinds of neat old Econoline vans. And there's just stuff everywhere. You know, this is what we get into. But I'll show you the other car we're digging out. I'm going to come in the back way here. Property. And there's parts and wheels and all kinds of stuff. But this place is crazy. Every square inch is stuff. So we got the Lincoln. And it's 39 Deluxe going to be fun. As you can see, this property is just packed to the gills. The garage is so full, there's actually a Cadillac on the other side of the wall that you may have missed in the intro panning shots. Thankfully, the 39 did not get as buried as that Cadillac, but there's still a bunch of parts in and around the car. Our first order of business is to move all of the boxes, checking for good car parts in, of course. Our first major hurdle for the day is we did not find keys for the 39. So we're gonna try our best to pull the car out of the garage and then take a closer look inside in the trunk and hopefully find a set of keys to make loading a little easier.
One second. Oh, Hold on. One second. Got booby traps all over the place. Oh boy. Stuff under the car. Just stuff that was near it. Okay. Go ahead. Keep moving. Go ahead. Yep. Hold on. Hold on. Oh. Hold on. Got shit all under the car here. Is there shit underneath? Yeah, there's like bottles of sand or I don't know what, cocaine. Oh. <laughs> oh, right, right, right. Yeah. Ah. I don't know what, but it was, I heard them shattering these. So. One said acid pool. Oh, jeez. Acid pH pool. It's probably acid for a pool to keep this in. Let's not break that one. That's not that big. Clear? Oh, this bottle right here. I get it. I got it. I think that's everything underneath now. I heard the glass bottles. I was like, oh no. I guess we did forget to check under the car. <laughs> in, this right. in this place, that was that's a big mess. Yeah. And you guys definitely checked that the steering wheel was locked. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, you can look around again and see if you can find the key. We're gonna get it out and look a little bit deeper. Yeah, well, no, I'm just taking those. I've, I've, how about like under the seat in the front or something? You clear? So far, we're good here. Go ahead, Pete. Go ahead. Yep, you're good. Keep coming. Yep. Yep. Alright. Little more. Little more. That's probably good for right, right this second. It. We want to look a little bit before we. With the car finally pulled out of the garage, we can take a good look in the interior and in the trunk to hopefully find a hidden set of keys. No keys found, Matt gets to work trying to disconnect the drag link from the steering box so we can steer the car out of the garage the rest of the way, down the street, and into the trailer. limited tools Matt was successful in getting the drag link off um, we did find a pile of tools in the back of the garage but they were very very unorganized uh, we took took me a minute to find something usable Matt's currently tying the drag link up with some twine couldn't find a pick a fork but if you use a three-quarter inch wrench and this very odd handled hammer works as a pickle fork you're able to pop the tie rod end out of the drag link and now we can finally steal the car uh, all right all right so we're gonna push this forward this way and then we can turn the wheels the other way and then you can drag you grab it your phone so it doesn't fall off <laughs> yep and you guys you you visualize the front Ready? Ready? There we go. Okay. Yeah, I'll keep it from rolling in front. Okay. Mike could get if you want to get in the truck and get. I'll get it ready. Ready, Matt? Yep. Ready? Yep. 
There we go. That's how you do it. Yep. I got my foot under it. That's good. Do you have that one on still? Yeah, it's still rolling. We just gotta watch this corner. Yep, that's yeah. why I'm standing here. Yeah. Alright, go ahead slow. Hey, we got plenty of room. Gold. Yep, that's nice. Okay. Keep Steve, going. Mike. Mike, we gotta make sure. Hold on, hold on. Keep going. We gotta just clear that van. We still, well, you might, the wheels are gonna wanna turn. There we go. Okay, we got, we're clear of the van over here. I'll keep it turned hard. We're gonna start straightening up. All right. Keep going, Pete. Yeah, keep going. Keep going. Yep, you're good. You're good. Yep, perfect. So much easier. Yep. I would have taken all day jacking it and sliding it around. Yep. Keep going. I want to cut it kind of hard now. Yep. There you go. Good job. How are we on your side? We're good. Hey, okay, we're good. Keep going. All right. All right. Straight. Go ahead. We'll eventually have to move your truck. Yep. I know. Yeah. You want to put this right in my trailer? We... Yep. Slow. Oh. Slow. I think it's downhill. I think it's coasted. Okay. Go ahead. Slow. Well, can you steer it? Yeah, I'm steering. You need to be cut harder, doesn't it? That is hitch. No, it's because it's downhill. The car's rolling a little bit and then banging. Yeah. You don't work great. Right. Alright Pete, go ahead. Bender. Hold on. Hold on. Oh! Go ahead. Alright, a little more. Alright, hold on, hold on. Something's going on. Oh. Back up. Digging under the tire. Back up. It has a handbrake in it, so I can. Ready? Yep. No more. All right. Careful, careful. We got space. Okay.
get it get it down here and then we can stop. That's probably good, Pete, for a moment. They want to look in the trunk and stuff. Wisconsin identification number. Huh. So at some point it was in Wisconsin. Did you just drive it from right there? Can you steer yeah. it? Yeah. Holy crap, was he a small person? Well, the block on the uh, steer, the gas pedal would probably... Yeah. Shit. The steer wheel's in your uh, lap. In my dick. <laughs> All right. Go we'll have him pull forward a little bit and we'll try the e-brake. All right, Pete, go ahead forward a little bit. We're going to try the e-brake. All the way. Yeah, as hard as I can. Nope, nothing. Try the actual brakes. Nothing. No, they're... Okay, we have no brakes. Well, we got no... So it was a normal Zephyr road turn. Road All right, ready for these blocks? Now that we have both cars loaded in the trailer, it's time to start digging through all of these boxes. Thankfully, as we went through, we figured out all the boxes with numbers had car parts in them, but it was a gamble whether it was early Ford parts, Lincoln parts, MG parts, or van parts. Here's a better look at that Cadillac that is buried. Uh, the tail end was turned into a shelf, and the rest of the car is just covered in stuff. As you look around in all the clips, there's just crazy wiring in all of the ceilings. Uh, he was doing some very, very sketchy wiring. Um, this is his living uh, little apartment that he built. Um, there's some pretty bad conditions, probably the worst we've seen in a long time. Uh, there's heaters, like hand built, with fuel oil jugs all over the place. But he was sleeping right there below that painting and the ceiling was actually falling in above him, which is super crazy. Uh, thankfully, we figured out that there were actually car parts in those boxes right there under that floor jack. Um, they were actually important parts that were missing from the 39, surprisingly. There's just boxes of stuff all over the property. evacuated he found their house oh there's still one more in there come on up oh, there he is <laughs> they were like dying oh, oh holy crap they're all going back in why would you live in the columbia rear parts of all this stuff i think oh, that was good i think one might have got taken out in that last flat oh no i think he got squashed in there
but you can see this box is labeled number 56. So we know there's car parts in here, we're just not sure what. And the box started out pretty badly. Um, this box is actually stored standing up vertical, which is pretty surprising for how banged up these grills were. I'm not sure if they got damaged in shipping, um, but there's, I believe, um, three of them. Two of them are really bad. Um, those two are totally broken in half. This third one, I think, just has a small bar missing in the bottom. And as we got to the bottom of the box, we found, I believe, one, two, and three decent halves. I believe that makes it makes a set and a half. Um, it's kind of a bummer, but at least there were some good ones down in the bottom. We were able to save that flathead hanging in the corner of the shot. It has a good two-piece oil pan. It looks like a good flywheel, some adjustable tappets. Uh, we're gonna tinker with it and see if we can potentially get it free and maybe get it running. Uh, it was quite an ordeal to get it loaded in the back of Pete's truck. Uh, the shelf above the 39 had to get cut down. Uh, we unfortunately did not film at the garage, had terrible lighting, it was pitch black outside. But it's another good flathead we're gonna try and save. All right, so that was a crazy adventure. Uh, we basically had started at beginning of daylight all the way till dusk, essentially. Uh, we were working and into the dark, we were actually loading everything up and uh, it was just really crazy. We weren't able to shoot an outro there on the spot. But um, we had a lot of fun. Thank you to the family for letting us uh, show up, dig around, and most importantly, the whole idea with all of this, including the gentleman that owned this stuff, was save as much of this stuff as possible. So we got, we hopefully got 99% of the old Ford and old car parts out of this place. The family will be going back, doing another clean out with doing tools and different things on the property, having some different scrap people come in, but they're gonna try and sell and save as much as they can before they have to just finally scrap stuff. There is a lot of trash and everything else to go through. So um, we got everything home safely. You can see I've already unloaded the, the uh, 39 Deluxe Coupe here. Um, as people always ask, what are we gonna do with all this stuff? Um, we're definitely gonna be trying to put, at the very most, at very least, put this car back on the road all the way to driving it. I wanna enjoy this car. This is a really, really sweet example of a, uh, of a 39. Uh, coupe and the Lincoln. I'm not quite sure yet. We're going to keep that in storage until we can get this car back on the road. Um, but definitely stick around for the next video. We're going to be doing an unloading video. We're going to show you this car a little bit. We'll show you the Lincoln a little bit. And most importantly, we're going to show you all the stuff that we got because I don't really know because we were just opening boxes, car parts. Okay, put it outside, put it on the pile. So it's going to be really fun to go through that stuff and see what we find. Thanks guys for watching. Catch you later.